and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Nassau, Ria, Iraq, weighing in at 240 pounds, Ali Mohammed. Charlie Wong, how many times are we get to see this crew from Death Row and D Wayne? Here is Ali Mohammed. Manager gets everybody in trouble. Ali set to face Nick Canones. Uh, they had a little go back and forth at weigh-ins. And it's hard not to go back and forth against these uh, hooligans of the Waynes. Fans are taking exception to Ali and his anti-America stance. Well, I saw trash at ringside there, Charlie, and um, I don't think too many people like these two gentlemen. And I think you're one of them. I was just going to say, I'm not sure which trash ringside <laughs> I was talking about. <laughs> now are we? <laughs> I'm almost healthy, Charlie. They'll get theirs. Crowd solidly behind him. It's not hard to do against Ali. No, it's not. He... Some energy from Canones. Hopefully he dispatches Ali quickly here. Barring shenanigans from D. Wayne. Well, does it ever end with him? No. It's Unfortunately, it doesn't. At least in the championship match set later tonight, owner Brian Miles put Shogun in place to enforce. So uh, hopefully there will be some control there. Canon is set and ready. He's not messing around. All right, folks, Division Pro LeBron Sportsplex, fourth edition, Quinones facing Ali. A stare-off, if you will. Ali grabbing quick head control. An exchange of top wrist locks into a headlock takeover. Canone is in control here. Quick roll up. Looking for the scissor headlock. Ref checking for shoulders. And a pin out of that. One count. We're in for a little wrestling match here, Charlie Wong. Oh, now the brawling starts. Oh, yeah. I wasn't sure how long the technique would stay in this one. Well, with Ali, it never does stay very long. Quinone is looking for the go behind. And Ali firmly in control of that wrist. Top wrist lock. And Ali takes full control here. Known as bending, trying to alleviate the pressure. And now he reverses it. D Wayne not yet panicking, not yet involved. Feels comfortable with Ali at this moment. Well, amateur wrestling now. Canona's there, straight into the ankle lock. 
looking to make Ali tap. I'd be all about that. Ali really don't have very far to go there. He can, He's close to the rope, yes. Yeah, pretty close, yes. Of course, Dwayne had to get in there and help him out a little bit. I'm not sure the ref saw that, uh, but Dwayne should be banned from ringside because he definitely helped Ali get to the rope there. Ali shakes off the ankle. Not enough persistent damage on the ankle, but I would not be surprised if Canones goes back at it. Another roll up. Quinone is trying to sneak it and he's going back to the ankle. Somehow Ali came out on top of that. Yeah, he did. Front headlock. Looked like Ali had a crucifix for a moment, but he switched over to head control. USA chance. That means Quinones is about to get a little energy here. Grabs the wrist. Known as with a crafty roll up, but he put him straight into the rope. Oh, wow. Dwayne didn't even need help on that one. Known looks to be a wily veteran with some of these uh, mat based technique. Ali shouts something to him. I couldn't quite make it. Slows down the pace, trying to recover his ankle and grab his awareness. Another elbow collar tie up. Might be an eye rake somewhere in the mix there. I don't think Quinones is about that. Back to the wrist control. Armbar. Arm bar. Oh, wow. Is Ali tapping there? He doesn't have D. Wayne's help on this one. Quinones locks in the legs. That could be over. And he quickly gives it up. I'm not sure how Ali got out of that so quickly. This is a true mat-based wrestling match, folks. Quinones with head control. Ali takes it back. Nope, Quinones stays on top. It's clear that Nick has some sort of amateur background in this. He's definitely showing it. He's been dominant of Ali so far. That could be a guillotine locked in. The ref needs to check him. Uh-oh. Quick pin. Two count. So out of the guillotine, Ali moves over and somehow he has head control. And now he's getting a little bit rough with Nick. Cononas will find his way out of this, I'm sure. Except for the elbow to the eye. From the get-go, Ali is wanting to slow it down and kind of figure himself out. And he, right now he's got Quinones reeling. Punch to the gut from Quinones. A knee right back from Ali, another knee. Sends him off, goes for the clothesline. Shoulder tackle out Quinones. Back elbow, splash, European upper. Notice has Ali staggering back to the corner. Flips in on. That should do it, Charlie. Dwayne. Of course, every time, every time. Charlie, what are we gonna do about Dwayne? You know, it all depends. Quinones put together a quick set of offense there, had the pin, and D. Wayne pulled him right off. Roll up from Ali. Ref doesn't see it. Good thing. Dwayne actually did not help in that situation. Made it worse, I think. Quinones with the pin. 
and Ali cannot believe it. Ali should be frustrated, Dwayne. And that sequence, Dwayne definitely didn't help his team. That's why he should stay away. Nice job by Quinones to capitalize. Ali and Dwayne are still going at it back there in the background. They're Ali is not happy at all with Dwayne right Dwayne now. Dwayne just he? pushed Ali in the back. Really? Dwayne's frustrated, Ali's frustrated, Quinones celebrating. Dwayne cannot believe what's happening now. I mean, I'm not a fan Ali's of Dwayne, and now hopefully Ali's not a fan of Dwayne, because that they're still heated going to the back. Finger pointing at each other. That's what happens when you cheat, Charlie. Yeah, exactly. Quinona has cap capitalized on the miscommunication between Ali and Dwayne, and we'll see what comes of that later tonight. There we go, the people's champion, Nick Quinones, took care of Ali.